In this video, I want to share with you nine essential tools that I use to run a successful Merch by Amazon business. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and other print-on-demand platforms. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. So before I share with you those nine essential tools that I use to run a successful Merch by Amazon business, let's just do a quick sales update. So yesterday, I actually had a good day. Did 24 sales, $73 in royalties. Today, I'm at 13 sales, sitting at $35 in royalties, and it's currently 3.40 p.m. in the afternoon, and that is going to put me at $811 for the month. So it'll be interesting to see how things end up, especially, you know, the uh, second half of November should start to be jamming here uh, shortly. So exciting times, like I've been saying. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, where I post my sales update on a daily basis, so like here were my sales from yesterday. I also post my sales from Etsy, Entrepreneur Picks, Gym Picks, and just kind of like my life down here in Mexico. So if you're interested, link for that is in the description. But now let's get into the first tool that I use. And I wanted to start off with one that you might not, that you guys might not really know about. And it is one that I use to keep my account safe. And it is this website right here called Trade Merch. And what Trade Merch does is basically it's a website where you can add in um, phrases that might end up getting trademarked in the future. So let me just show you an example here. So I'm just on um, Amazon. Let's just say like this uh, phrase right here, thankful for my little turkeys. You know, right now it's probably not trademarked, but in six months down the line, you know, it might end up getting trademarked. So if this was your design, you uploaded it and then it ends up getting trademarked in the future. How are you going to know? You know, for, for, for the most part, you're probably not going to know. And so what this uh, uh, website does or this tool, it will actually uh, track that phrase for you and it will notify you in case it does get trademarked. So what you do is you just go to trade merch right here and then you go to I believe it is uh, keywords and then what you would do is you just add in the phrase so what was it all my I forget what it was but it was something like thankful for my little turkey so you just type in whatever the phrase is so just go thankful for my little turkeys and then right here you're just gonna click add to monitor and you see right here, it has added one new phrase. And every morning, I actually get an email from Trade Merch letting me know what um, you know phrases have been trademarked. And it's really useful because sometimes you know I forget about a design, forget about a niche, a phrase, and you know they'll notify me. And then what I'm able to do, you know, if I see that something has been trademarked, what I can do is I can go back into my Merch by Amazon account. I can find, or even my Etsy account as well. I can go into those accounts and I can find the listing, find the design, and I can go ahead and delete it to avoid getting the takedown and to avoid getting a strike on my account. So I actually really like this tool, uh, Trademark. They're only like 10 bucks a month. I do have an affiliate link for it in the description if you're interested. But I really like it because it's just a really good way to keep my account uh, safe, basically. You know, because you want to be in Merch by Amazon for the long run. And so this is a good way to, uh, you know, just protect your account, basically. And then the second tool that I use for my Merch by Amazon business is this extension right here called Productor for Merch by Amazon. If you don't have this extension, I would highly recommend that you uh, get it. If you want me to do like a full tutorial on all the things that Productor does, just comment below. But the main things that I like it for is that when you want to upload um, onto Merch by Amazon, what you can do with productors, you can come down here. Well, first you just fill everything out. So you, you know, uh, basically select all the colors, you know, the, the, the fit types. You can come down here and you can actually even type in type of keywords, and anything. And then you can actually save it as a productor draft. And so that every time, and then once you save it as a productor draft, it'll just pop up right here. So every time you upload like a new design, you can just click on the template that you want and it will select basically like all the dark colors, all the light colors, however you have it set up. Uh, you know, it's really convenient so you don't have to like type in all the prices every time, select all the colors, select whether you want youth or not. Um, so it's just a really good time saver. Um, another reason why I also really like it is that it's very uh, useful for when I do my merch ad. So you can go to products right here. And basically what you can do is it just uh, makes it really easy for you to get a spreadsheet for running your uh, ad campaigns, which I like to do. So that's probably the second reason why I also really like Productor. Um, another reason, actually, I should have probably gone back, but another reason is that it's good for like finding BSRs. So like right here, this is Productor. It tells you the BSR right here. There's also the DSR or there's another one that I also use, but I like uh, Productor better because it shows the date right here. And it will actually, like if you have your product, it will show you how many you've sold. But mainly I like the date. That's what probably the most important. So the date and the BSR at the same time. The other extension I was using that showed the BSR 
uh, didn't do that, at least on the free version. Um, and this is all with the free version. I don't pay anything to a productor. I don't have an affiliate link to them. Um, I just, I'm a happy customer. And then the other reason why I also really like it, uh, it looks like it's taking forever. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about where you can like find, um, where you can use it for your uh, Amazon ads because you can just select a whole bunch of listings. And then you can come up here and, well, I have to wait for it to load. It's still loading. But basically you just use it to get spreadsheets that you can pop into Amazon when you're running your ads. And then the other reason why I also really like it, if I can just go back here, is that you can use it to uh, also help protect your account to check to see if phrases or words are trademarked. So like right here, if you scroll down and if I just type in like um, Mama Bear, I think Mama Bear is trademarked. And you just type or click right here where it says Trademark USA and it will let us know if this is trademarked or not. So it looks like it's not anymore, but I think Mama Bear used to be trademarked. Um, but it's also just a really easy way to check to see if things are trademarked. There's another extension I'm also going to show you that I also use to check trademarks, but this is just really quick and easy. Um, so those are the four reasons why I really like using Productor. Highly recommend this extension. It's just going to make things very quick and easy and just save you a lot of time. And then the next two resources or tools that I use for Merch by Amazon that I find very helpful and essential are going to be uh, research tools, how I find trending niches or just niches in general. So the first one is Flying Research. You might have heard of these guys before. I actually just started using these guys like about a month ago, and I'm really liking them. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that. Just, again, happy customer. But the way that I pretty much use these guys, I just go to Seller Trends, and we'll just click Search. I like to have it. Uh, so it's just for like United States t-shirt newest and also just by the week uh, or the month actually is how I usually have it. So let's just use it for the month. And then what I do is I just come in here and I just see if I can find any uh, duplicates. I see if anything catches my eye. And then I'll oh, look at this proud vermin. Okay. So I think Trump called people vermin the other day or something like that. So that's probably why this is like 164. Okay. This could be, this could be good. Another tool that I use for research is uh, Merch Informer, this website right here. Uh, this is free, uh, this website, merchinformer.com. Usually what I do right here is I just go to USA, T-shirt, and I'll just leave it blank, hit search, and then once it's loaded, I'll just show you real quick. I'm kind of interested on that proud vermin. It's usually those uh, pro-Trump shirts sell well, proud vermin. Let's see what the competition is on that. But once it loads, once I will, I will come in here and then I will just um, uh, filter it by the newest. So you just come in here and I've showed you guys how to do this before. Um, but once it loads, you just hit right here. My internet is a little slow, but so it's kind of taking a while. I just come right up here, hit newest, and it will show you like the newest results. And it will give you kind of like a, you know, a page kind of looking like this one right here, this fine research. Um, but I'm kind of just curious on that proud vermin. So let's see, only 111 results. Defend vermin. Okay, that could be another one. Now we just want to see what the BSRs are like on this. But results look low. Really easy to design for. Let me pause the video real quick. Okay, so there it goes right there. You can see that it's starting to load. And probably going to get some low uh, BSRs on this one. So look, we just found a trending niche right there. I don't think vermin is hate speech. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think it is safe. But god damn it. So we can see that these two are selling uh, right here. Uh, but I just got a little distraction right there. Anytime a new trending niche uh, you know, catches my eye, I tend to just uh, stop and take a look at it. But the point I was trying to make here is that these are two uh, tools that I use for research. Uh, the first one is this one right here called Flying Research. And then the second one is uh, Merch Informer. This is the URL, merchinformer.com slash merch dash Amazon dash listings slash um, and these are how these are the tools that I use to find these trending niches that I'm always making these videos about. And then the fifth tool that I use is this extension right here called Tangent Test. It is uh, used to check for trademarks, and you can you can see that I have it right here. So once you install it, it's just right at the top in the bookmarks. And you can just click on it, go down to the second one, Test Trademark Search, and it will just open up a new tab. And it's just easier than for me to just going straight to the website like that. And then right here, I will just click on basic word search and then I can just type in any type of phrase or keyword that I'm looking for to check the CPS trademark. Sometimes if I'm kind of like paranoid or you know I'm not too like 100% sure I'll use both. Uh, where is it? Well I don't have it open anymore. But the one that I showed you earlier with Productor, oh yeah this one right here. So I'll use this one first 
I'll check here because sometimes this is not a hundred percent. You know, I have to be honest. Uh, it's not a hundred percent. So really, the best practice is to do a trademark check here. So you would do like Mama Bear. You know, you would check it here. Boom, and then it's always a good idea to double check on the actual test um, website. And then you would just check right here. So that's the fifth tool that I like. I really like this one as well. It is this uh, tangent test extension. It's free to use. You just have to do a Google search for it and then you can install it into your Chrome browser. All right, next one is Pretty Merch. So you guys probably know about this one already. Um, this one I just like because it is just a really nice interface and it's just a really nice way to see my uh, sales. Um, you know, I can check out yesterday's sales, last seven days, this month, previous month all time um, I don't really use it for anything else like I know they have research I haven't really gotten into that maybe I should probably check it out but I don't really like or use pretty much for anything else except for just checking out my sales and also the analytics so sometimes I like to go back in time and just see like how much I've done the previous year or maybe like the last 90 days year to date custom all time things like that um, and then I also have a really nice uh, app on the phone as well so that's how I get those photos that I post on my Instagram is using the pretty much uh, phone app now they don't notify you every time you get a sale but you can just when you're just like waiting in line at the grocery store open up the app see how many sales you got so that's why i like using pretty much so that is i think maybe the sixth uh tool that i use for merch by amazon and the sixth tool that i use for my merch by amazon business is photoshop um, now a lot of the times i'll just get designs from creative fabrica which i'll talk about at the end here and want to save that one towards the end but sometimes I do use Photoshop to make my own designs or I'll take a, like some type of clip art from Creative Fabrica, pop it into Photoshop and then add some text or something like that. Now Photoshop is not free. It does cost like $10 a month, I believe. And there is a little bit of a learning curve, but me just over the years, I was just watching YouTube videos and I was able to kind of learn that way. Now I am by far not a master or anything like that. And to be honest, Photoshop isn't even really for designing. You know, Adobe Illustrator is more for like, you know, uh, t-shirt designs basically. Photoshop is more for like editing photos. That's why it's called, you know, Photoshop. But you can still use it to make t-shirt designs. And so you can just like, you know, just make kind of weird stuff like that. Um, but I like Photoshop. That's the one that I always use. There is a like a free version. I think it's called Photopea, which is free. It's online. It's basically the same thing. One time Photoshop went down for me and I was able to use Photopea instead. So good kind of a backup plan. But that is the six. I believe the six uh, tool that I use is Photoshop and it's only nine or ten bucks a month. And then the last two tools or resources I use for my Merch by Amazon uh, business are these uh, design sites where you can pay a monthly subscription and you can uh, use their designs basically for Merch by Amazon and also Etsy other print on demand platforms. But the first one, which I love very much, is the one I always recommend is Creative Fabrica. It's only $4.99 a month. There's probably a deal coming out here with Black Friday uh, right around the corner. But I mean, they just got so much stuff. I mean, you can just type in like anything like Christmas. And then you can use the filters to kind of uh, filter down. So you can go right here to where it says like t-shirt designs. You can see they got 52,000 t-shirt designs. And then if you do use Creative Fabrica, you just want to make sure that you're only uploading stuff that comes with the POD or print on demand special license. So just make sure that you have that checked off when you're filtering. And when you click on one of the designs, so I don't think it did t-shirts. So let's try that again, t-shirt. I mean, they also got fonts. They got a whole bunch of stuff. They even have courses on here. So if you want to learn some other stuff, but just make sure that like, if you want to like upload this onto Merch by Amazon, you just want to make sure that it says right here that it has the POD uh, special license. So it'll say right under that download button. So if this would just load. One of the joys of living in Mexico, internet is not the fastest, but right here it's going to say commercial and full POD usage allowed. So that's what you want to make sure that it says. If it doesn't say uh, full POD usage allowed, it just says commercial, then you can't uh, upload it just as is. You have to use it as like an element. So you have to take <clears throat> that and then like add it in with some other, and like use it as an element basically. Um, then the second one that I use, uh, not that much anymore. I used to really like it, but they, they're not really that good anymore, at least in my opinion, is uh, Vexels. You know, so I started, I used this a lot when I first started, uh, but I just found that Creative uh, Fabrica just has so many more options, you know, just way more options, um, all the designs that I'm looking for. But I will admit the other day I was making some Mardi Gras uh, cruise uh, designs. That's a little uh, trending niche that's coming up, so I'm taking over that. Um, so I was making a Mardi Gras cruise uh, design, and, you know, I couldn't really find anything on Creative Fabrica, surprisingly enough. 
uh, because I was looking for a mask. I was looking for a Mardi Gras mask, and I couldn't really find a good one on uh, Creative Fabric, so I popped over to Vexels, and I actually found a really good one. You know, so I was able to use that. So I will admit, I still use both. And the thing with Vexels is, um, like, if you use their designs up on Merch by uh, Merch by Amazon, you can't just use their designs and then cancel. You know, if you want to cancel Vexels, you have to delete the designs on Merch by Amazon. And right now, I have a really good Eclipse design selling well. So Vexels has me, um, you know, by the well, I don't want to say, but Vexels has me like for like thirty dollars a month for like I don't know how long it's going to be. But, you know, maybe I want to see like for the foreseeable future. So, you know, just note it, just note that if you do sign up for Vexels that, you know, it's 30 bucks a month. And if you use their uh, designs and you want to cancel Vexels, you have to take down your designs on Merch by Amazon. Now, I don't know how they're going to find you, but me, I don't really want to mess with it. But yeah, so those are the two websites that I use for my uh, designs where I get them. Like I said, sometimes I'll just pop the design into Merch by Amazon right from here, or I'll use some type of clip art, and I'll add like the year 2024, or just kind of use my own creativity with Photoshop to make the design. But those are the uh, nine uh, tools that I use for Merch by Amazon. Comment below which ones you are using, which ones have you never heard of, which ones do you think are good, uh, not that good. Let me know. I love reading your comments and I will respond to every single one of them. So make sure to comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, just a couple things before I log off here. I am going to California for Thanksgiving. So I'm probably not going to be able to put out that much content next week. Nothing's happened to me. I'm okay. I'm just with spending time with family and I'm not going to have my, you know, microphone, you know, with me. Now, in case like a niche, a trending niche pops off or something like that, you know, maybe I'll try and make a video, but the, probably the audio quality won't be that good. But I'm going up there to just be with family, so I'm just going to kind of focus on that. And then when I get back, I'm going to start jamming out the videos because I finally got monetized. Actually, today I reached my 4,000 hours. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to all the subscribers, everybody that's been watching my videos. It really means so much. I have to admit, this YouTube thing is not the easiest. You know, I started this channel about a year and a half ago. You know, I kind of took it serious at the beginning, but then I kind of like got a little lazy. And then these past three months, I just started jamming. I started putting videos out every day, but you know, it took a it took a while. It was a grind. I got the subscribers quickly, but the watch time took a while. You know, it took about a year and a half. But now the channel is monetized, so I'm really motivated to make more videos because I'm actually going to start getting actually paid for the content I'm making. Before the the way that I was making uh, money from this channel was with some of the affiliate marketing from Creative Fabrica and from Udemy because I have two courses. But to be honest that wasn't really making me that much maybe like 50 bucks a month or something like that you know and i know with youtube you can make a lot of money especially since uh, this channel is in the how to make money online niche and that is one of the best niches to be in on youtube i have two other youtube channels one is like a scary story uh, channel the other one is a trivia channel and honestly they only make like a dollar a day so not that much it would be awesome if i can make like a thousand dollars a month with this youtube channel i would be thrilled with that Obviously, more would just be icing on the cake, but uh, basically, thank you for helping me get monetized, and I'm just pumped up to make more videos now. Okay, so that's going to be it. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. Adios.